I've already shuffled and will be going through the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. We'll take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, Six of Pentacles, and it's with the Empress. Now the Six of Pentacles can often indicate a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. Because whenever you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that can indicate money, cash, coins, finance, income. This Six of Pentacles is actually one of the more positive pinnacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole complete cycle. The Six of Pentacles. It can be a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. Now, it's with the Empress. The Empress just know that she doesn't play by the rules. She actually has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, keep in mind, this does not mean she'll always get her way, but... She's actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. She can signify coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is actually only one of them. Yeah, the Empress can have it all, actually. She can encompass any or all of them. Now... Six of Pentacles, clarified by this Empress. Well, what this is telling me, Capricorn, is that um, you were involved with someone who was really drawn to you. Yeah, because the Empress can be about a, a time, a potent time for love. When you all of a sudden find men and women alike suddenly finding you, suddenly finding you far more attractive could be for both friendship and romance. So yeah, this tells me that your person was really, really drawn to you. Um, the Empress can also be about deep love. So your person had a lot of emotions for you. Very attracted to you. Uh, if, it, if, they weren't, if they weren't attracted to your outer beauty, then it was your inner, your soul, your spirit, the light that shined in you. Um, and this person was very generous, or they could have started to be, be very generous to you, very giving, maybe doing a lot of nice things for you, maybe buying you gifts, very generous. Yeah, they found you to be a beautiful soul, a very attractive person, just drawn to you, deep love here, your person had for you, but let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Now we got the Ten of Cups, and it's with, the it's with the Tower. Okay, so the Ten of Cups is actually um, one of the most uplifting cards that you can get in a reading. Yeah, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. This card, it actually points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a really good card. Ten of Cups, it speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, um, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include, and to include those that you're most concerned about, such as your parents, siblings, your children, your pets, and much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled. When you get the Ten of Cups, that's a part of the picture here, too. Now, it's with the Tower. The Tower card, you could be trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people, situations that you've counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. 
as they once were. Now this does not have to be dire. Because we know change is the nature of life, and if we try to prevent it, it could actually be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be, because you could replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Yeah, dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. So coming up for the two of you, Ten of Cups, clarified by the Tower. Yeah, so, um, yeah, what I'm, what I'm picking up on, I'm getting a couple of storylines here, a couple of different downloads. Now, for some of you Capricorns, this person, they feel like they could have it all with you. They feel like you're their dream come true. Um, but it's with the tower. So for some of you, you, you kind of could care less. I'm getting this, I'm picking up on this energy of not really, of you not really feeling this person like they're feeling you. And then I'm getting another download. Now, for some of you Capricorns, um, you could be ready for this to to just fall apart because you could be um, feeling like you've got your Ten of Cups somewhere else. Those are the two storylines that that I'm getting. Those are the two that that are standing out in my head. So yeah, you got someone who's really feeling you, but for the most part here, I'm getting you, you could have someone else that you have in mind for your Ten of Cups, or you, you could just, you could take this, you could take this connection or leave it, and it, it could come crumbly down, because you're not really into this person, like they're into you. But, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the Knight of Wands. And it's with the Sun. Okay, so this Knight of Wands. When this card appears, it's actually a great time for travel. If you can get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is likely to be increasing, which should help reach towards any goals that you have. The Knights can be a message bearer, and the messages are likely to be positive. Could be related to work, career, or family, and ro or, or family or romance. Now, as with the Sun card, with this card, um, things are likely to be going really well. However, even though your finances, they are in good shape. Just keep in mind, this does not mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. Now, for some of you, it is. Um, it's going to be important to remember that it's a good time to socialize. Meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a job, this card can signify that it's right around the corner. So your challenge, Knight of Wands, and it's with the sun. Okay, so for some of you um, Capricorns, this Knight of Wands is indicating that you kind of only got one foot in and one foot out. Because the Knight of Wands is the in and out type of energy. Um, you could be, I don't know, some of you could be going towards someone that makes you, makes you really happy. I'm kidding, it's not with this person who's very giving to you. Yeah, and that's why you only got one foot in and one foot out with this person who's who's very attracted to you. Yeah, they see you as someone that they they could have it all with. You're the you're their end all be all. 
you're their dream come true, but you've got one foot in and one foot out. And you could be going towards someone that makes you happy. Or, yeah, someone that adds sunshine to your life. You're not, you're not that happy with this person. This is not your end-all, be-all. They're feeling you, but you're not feeling them in quite the same way. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, we got the devil and we got the eight of swords. Now, when you get the devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first. Make sure you don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial. To remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Well, sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions. But more often, it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action. Whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. And I say this because small baby steps, they're important too. Now it's with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, you could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future. Or maybe you're wary of getting hurt by a situation. Or it could be for no reason at all. So you have to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Okay, so the outcome, Capricorn, the devil, clarified by the Eight of Swords. So yeah, like I said, you've only got one foot in and one foot out. And you're with someone who's really, really feeling you. They're feeling you in a big way. Ten of Cups. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. You could t actually take it or leave it. Yeah. I don't know, what, what What just popped in my, my head is that for some of you, this is like a pay-for-play type of thing. For you, it is. But for the person that's being so generous to you, no, you're much more than that for them. You're their dream come true. Um, you could be, with the devil card here, you could be feeling that the two of you are just too toxic together. Because if you look at the picture of the devil card, the card that's above the word outcome, you see how these two people, they're, they're sitting down. Well, they're so intoxicated, they can't really sit. They're kind of just leaning down. There's this man at the bottom on the left side. He's feeding his face nonstop. And his belly is huge. So he's a he's addicted to overeating. And then this lady, she's on the right side. Looks like she's turning up the bottle. So she's addicted to liquor. And her, her eyes are about to pop out of her head. That's what it looks like. So, yeah, the devil card is about addictions. It can be maybe about tox toxic behaviors, toxic energy. Some type of devil energy. Addictions could be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. Um, and it could even be drug abuse, alcohol abuse. So you're feeling that this connection is, is toxic or um, maybe you feel your person is too obsessed with you. Because like I said, they're very drawn to you with the Empress showing up here. And for some of you, you just feel like the, you just feel like together, the two of you are a really bad combination. Deep down inside, that's what you're thinking. The reality of it, for you, is that the two of you are 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 an unhealthy mix. But your person doesn't see it like that. 
So the Eight of Swords is here, the card below the word outcome. No, it's indicating that you're holding back. No, you're not giving this your all. You're not, you're holding yourself back. Yeah, like I said, with the Eight of Swords, you could have fears of moving into the future with this person. Or maybe you're afraid of getting hurt by this connection, or maybe it's for no reason at all. But you're, you're kind of stuck in your head, and you know how this person's feeling you. But you, you, hold, you hold back, Capricorn. Yeah. So, Capricorn, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Yeah, there's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those, yeah, it'll be for the, um, for Capricorn. Um, did you know Capricorn, um, is a wonderful star sign. Stern Zetchen is the star sign in German of Capricorn. But, um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you so very much for watching i hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season and with all the crazy in the news hang in there it's gonna pass and we'll all get through this so stay strong take good care please come back and join me for the next capricorn reading just in case this reading did not resonate maybe the next reading will also capricorns keep in mind if you're not dealing with anyone romantically the other person could actually be a friend a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. And yes, the roles of the people can be reversed. Meaning when I say your person, that could all, that could be you, or you could be your person. The roles can be switched, put it that way. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.